Imagine this metaphor that depicts a narrow point of view for school as a place that offers courses that can be represented as well-defined courses corridors. These courses corridors have an entry point, which is the one through which we enter the formal education system, and they also have a more or less distant objective, which is the one that allows our arrival, in the long term, to the professional world. These corridors are relatively well mapped out, clear and well defined, and they are designed for pupils who are ready to follow them. Pupils are well aligned, well seated in the starting blocks, and ready to start working and learning efficiently. We are all aware, and particularly the actors in the formal education systems, that for some pupils, each corridor is an obstacle course race with sometimes significant difficulties. Some pupils will drop out. Others, fortunately, will succeed. But the reality is much more complex than that. When we look at the starting line, we see pupils who are indeed well prepared and ready to go. There are others who, although they are ready to go, are not well equipped or trained. They do not have the right tools, they do not have the right concepts. They don't have the right preparation or the right environment that will allow them to succeed. Others are there, ready to participate, but don't fully understand what is expected of them, and are then faced with difficulties. Then there are those who, from the start, either quickly give up or are not really ready to start. Of course, each pupil will build his or her own learning path with the help of teachers, and all paths are good. Whether they go through the sand dunes or stay in the well-marked corridors, whether they take other paths or whether they take a few breaks to regain their strength and recover. Depending on each individual's preferences, these paths can be followed alone or supported by other pupils, teachers or supervisors. So, where and how can artificial intelligence be used to ensure that each pupil will follow the learning path that is best suited to their needs, and this path will allow them to succeed? Why can't we do as the motion tracking applications do? That means providing better analysis, through artificial intelligence, of digital learning behaviours and moving towards greater personalization of learning paths. <laughs>